Hey everybody, Derek here from Elevated Jeeps. Today, uh, we're gonna dive right in here pretty quick. We are talking about the 2004 to 2006 Jeep Wrangler Unlimiteds, um, known as the Unicorn, the Holy Grail, um, just very rare, very rare Jeeps. Um, from 97 to 06, there were something like 952,000 TJs, TJUs, LJs produced. Out of that, uh, 55,000, I got some notes here because I have way too many numbers to go over with you. 55,497 of those are the LJ. So if you like math, um, that is almost 6% of the near million Jeeps built. Almost 6% of them were LJs. So that in, a, that in itself is rare. But today we're going to talk about the top 10 rarest models. And then at the end, we'll finish up and just talk about the top five um, rarest colors, which are all in the top 10. And just to note, um, I'm getting my data from the interwebs. Um, and I think I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the, these pictures are found on Wrangler Forum. And I don't remember now who uploaded them, but they are production numbers for 04, 05, and 06. Um, and, and so this is all just off of the internet. This is math. This is not any like um, assumptions or whatever. This is just based on the numbers. Um, so uh, I do wanna give a quick shout out um, and an honorable mention to the 2005 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara Rubicon. That's another one that um, I've heard called the Holy Grail, which it is rare. There was only a thousand of them, but there are there are at least 10 more uh, units that have a less production number than that. So let's get started. Uh, top 10, number 10 coming in is the 05 and 06 Impact Orange Rubicon. There were 661 of those made. Um, beautiful color. Number nine, the 2004-2005 Electric Lime Green Sport. 524 of those were manufactured. Number eight, the 2005 Jeep Green Sport. There were 501 of those made. Um, coming in at number seven was the 0506 Deep Barrel Green Rubicon. That had 497 produced. And now the top six are all single year possibilities here, which makes them very rare. Number six, the 2006 Midnight Blue Rubicon, 455 of those made. Um, number five, the 2005 Patriot Blue Rubicon, 448 of those made. Number four, getting real rare here, uh, the 2004 Shale Green Sport, 314 of those. Number three, the 2006 Jeep Green Rubicon, uh, 282 of those. Number two, 2005 Electric Lime Green Rubicon, 99 of those were made and coming in at number one in my picture here i couldn't even find a picture of it because there was literally only one produced according to the data and that's the sienna pearl sport one uh can't find pictures i don't know anybody that's seen it um i don't know if it was the first one off the line and it got crushed, I don't know, but I do know uh, through my nerdy stuff that Sienna Pearl was actually a kind of a carryover color from 03. Um, just because, yeah, the if you find a Sienna Pearl, generally uh, it's gonna have like a late 03 um, production date on it that they carried over into 04. So, so those are some pretty rare unlimiteds. Um, as far as the color, you heard everything there. Um, the number five most rare is Impact Orange. There were 1,547 of those made. Uh, number four was the uh, Jeep Green in 06, 783. Number three, uh, Electric Lime Green, 623. 
Shale Green is still at 314 and Sienna Pearl at one. And to note, um, if you are unfamiliar, uh, there were no Rubicons produced in 2004. Uh, it was just the Unlimited Sports. Um, and let's see, what are we looking at? About 12,000 of those uh, were made in 04. And uh, obviously the numbers jumped up a little bit the next year. Um, but uh, yeah, 42,000 sports and 13,000 Rubicons. So then um, something I don't, I couldn't find data for, but I know that there is a package called the 24H package which is uh, basically a, um, I don't know, visual package, I guess you would call it. And actually my uh, blue LJ that I'm sitting in had it. And what you got out of that was color matched fender flares. You would have got the leather wrap steering wheel. You would have gotten a temp compass mirror. You'd have got the special, uh, special design seats and a chrome grill. Uh, and I believe that was all there was to that um if i'm not mistaken you could only get that in blue silver and black yes i believe that's correct so um and again on the lj what you okay let's talk about that so a lot of some people say oh it's a tj it's still a tj it's a tj unlimited um I, I don't know. I don't. I don't super want to argue about that. Um, everybody's right, and we're all on the same team. So let's go forward with that. But the LJ got you a 10-inch um, longer wheelbase, so it's more stable on the trails, and 15 inches overall uh, of of length. Um, out of that 15 inches, you, your your back seat got two more inches of footroom. And then behind the seat is where it's significant. If you've ever tried to put anything in the back of a TJ, it's awful. Uh, but in the LJ, uh, I didn't actually measure it, um, but it's fantastic back there. Like you can actually put groceries or fold the seat down and I use it as a truck. Uh, so yeah, um, I think that kind of concludes. Oh, I did want to say that all my numbers include international and fleet vehicles. This is every unlimited produced. 55,497. Very rare. Um, I think they're gonna just keep going up in price um, as they become more collectible. Um, I did a video, I don't know, a couple videos ago and I thought that the LJ was actually more rare than the CJ8, which it's not. Um, I don't remember those numbers right off hand, but I think it was 40 some thousand, 36,000, something like that. Um, and so, you know, those ran from 80 to 86 and it's about impossible to find one now. I feel like however many years in advance, 20 years from now, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, if you do find one of these things, they're going to be crazy. So I would suggest you go get one or two or three. Um, they're great. They ride great. Um, the only difference again is is that length. Uh, I think there's some other like under the skirt things like you always got disc brakes with an LJ on, on the rear 44. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I love this nerdy stuff. So if you have facts that you wanna share, uh, did I miss something? Did my math not work out right? I'm not a math whiz, so that's entirely possible. But uh, thank you guys and uh, we're hopefully taking delivery of my 06 uh, White Unlimited today. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right, take care, everybody.